So in the last video, we learned that uh, the create post functionality is broken now, because if I try to create a post, you can see that it sends back an, uh, a 500 status code. And if we take a look at the logs, we can see that uh, it looks like there's some issue with the SQL, and it's saying that the null value in column owner ID violates the not null constraint. And so looking at our model, we obviously set the owner ID right here. And this is set to be nullable false. So we actually have to provide who the owner ID is for this new post. So how do we do that? Well, let's go to our post path operation and let's go to the create post path operation. And so it's right here. And so nowhere in this code are we actually providing a user ID or owner ID into this new, new post that we're creating. We're just grabbing the post, which comes from post create the schema. And if we look at that schema, you can see that we do not provide a owner ID. And like I said, we're not going to actually pass the owner ID into the, in the body. What we're going to do is whoever is logged in and creating the post should automatically be the owner, right? If you're logged into Twitter and you post something, Twitter knows that you're the one creating the post. So whatever ID is associated with your account, it's going to set that automatically. So we shouldn't have to pass that in the body. We should automatically retrieve it from uh, your authentication status. So within post, right, you can see that we have the current user. And so we should be able to um, get the current user uh, or the user's ID. So if I do current underscore user dot ID, and we can remove this kind, I don't need the email. And if I try to create a post, it's still going to error out. That's okay. I just want to see what it prints out though, before the error. And you can see we got a lot of errors. That's okay. And you can see that it printed out the ID of my user, which is 23. And just to double check that that's actually my user, I'm going to select star from users. And you can see that 23 is Sanjeev at Gmail. So we could just take that and just add that into a, the new post object. And so we're creating the new post right here where we reference models that post. And what we're doing is we're just spreading, whoops. We're just spreading out the uh, schema that we got from the body. And so to actually add the ID property, it's very easy. All we have to do is just say owner underscore ID is going to be set to current underscore user dot ID. So we're just grabbing um, that from the get current user function, just like we did right here. And I think we probably need a comma there. And that should be all that we have to do. So let's, I'm going to remove this code. And let's test this out now. So if I do create post, look at that, no errors. You can see that the owner ID was automatically set to the ID of my user, which is 23.